Hello hello today I'm going to show you an awesome unboxing video by me for you. Today let me introduce you this really good looking <gasps> Samsung Galaxy S22 cell phone. Whoa, it looks really cool as you can see. It is a nice device. It's also available as a Galaxy S22 Plus. This is a bit a bit bigger range. In this case, it's uh, it's an S22 6.1 inch display, as you can see. And there are more about the fact because it comes um, with key features. It makes night epic with night holography. This is the brightest innovation yet in Samsung. The sensor pulls in more light. The super clear glass dials down dense flare and fast acting AI delivers a near instant intelligent processing. And with a smooth video gives us all the smooth moves. The OIS correction angle has been improved by 58% and works with the fast motion sampling to stabilize our shots. Meanwhile, the Super HDR adjusts the color frame by frame to keep every frame looking gorgeous. And we have Vision Booster out shines the sun. Sunlight meet the Galaxy S22's bright and Galaxy S22 Plus brightest display. Because we have in the S22 a bright display, but a brighter display in 22 Plus, okay? Because there's more space. The stunning dynamic AMOLED two times display is crafted specifically for high outdoor visibility. This keeps the view clear in bright daylight. And we have Google Do live sharing for virtual watch parties. We bring the crew together with Google Do, for example. There we can watch movies together, stream high quality videos just like IRL. And we have a 4 nanometer processor. This is the fastest chip yet. The Samsung fastest, most powerful chip ever. That means the fastest CPU and GPU compared to the Galaxy S21 Ultra. It is an epic leap for smartphone technology and a fast charge that outlasts the day. The battery intelligently adapts to how we use the phone. So at least beyond 24 hours. The entire Samsung Galaxy S24 is a series of Android-based smartphones designed, developed, manufactured and marketed by Samsung Electronics as a part of its Galaxy S series. Unveiled at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event on 9th February of 2022, it's on the market. The code name was Rainbow. It comes with an epic standard Samsung Galaxy S22, makes a new note. It will make our next step to make a, a good and nice looking Samsung device on the market for us um, to use. The dimensions of the S22 are 146 millimeter. These are 5.7 inches height. 70.6 millimeter. These are 2.78 inches wide. 7.6 millimeter. These are 0.30 inches deep. This is the dimensions of your S22. 167 gram. These are 5.9 OC. The operation system is an Android 13 with one UI 4.1. Of course, now at this time, it comes with the Android 13 with ONE UI 5.0. The system on a chip system is for Europe a Samsung Exynos 2200 and global as a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Generation 1. The CPU is an Exynos Octa-Core 
one time 2.8 gigahertz Cortex X2 and a three time 2.5 gigahertz Cortex A710 and a four time 1.8 gigahertz Cortex A510 at the um, the uh, Europe versions. The Snapdragon is an octa core 1.3 gigahertz Cortex X2 and a three times 2.4 gigahertz Cortex A710 and four times 1.7 gigahertz Cortex A510, as you can see. The GPU graphic processing unit is an Eclipse 920. This is based on an AMD RDNA2 and in the Snapdragon version is an Adreno 730. The memory of RAM, random access memory, is 8 GB. If you use the Ultra, you can have 12. The storage is UFS 3.1, uh, 128 GB, like shown in that video, or 256 GB, as you choose the storage way. We have non-removable storage. That means the storage is solid built in. If you need more than 256 gigabyte, you can use a cloud system, of course, or you have to buy the ultra version. This is on the market up to two terabyte. The SIM, which you can build in, is a nano SIM, two times, or an eSIM. Single SIM or hybrid dual SIM in dual standby is possibility. The battery is a 3,700 milliampere hour um, in the S22. If you're going to use the Plus, it's a little bit more, 4,500. And the Ultra comes with 5,000. Charging, USB PD, 25 watt PPS or 50 watt non-PPS. That's enough, it makes a job. The display is a dynamic AMOLED and AMOLED 2 times infinity O capacitive touchscreen. HDR10+, 1B colors, peak brightness is 1750 nits. The um, dimensions of the display are 6.1 inches. These this are 150 millimeter. 1080 to 2340 um, pixel 425 ppi and 19 5 to 9 aspect ratio 100 hard refresh rate if you like more use the plus version this comes with 6.6 inches the sound is a dolby atmos stereo speakers tuned by akg the real camera is a 50 megapixel that means we have a portrait of 1.8, 24 mm wide camera, and a 1 nanometer dual pixel PDAF or IELTS chip. Then we have a 10 megapixel cam with a portrait of 2.4, 70 mm telephoto, one third, 94 inches, 1.0 micrometers, PDAF or IELTS, three times optical zoom as possible. And a, th um, a third camera system, 12 megapixel, aperture 2.2, 30 millimeter, 120 degrees ultra wide cam. One half, 55 inches, 1.4 micrometer, super steady video is possible. And of course, if you like more cameras, go to the ultra version. And then we have a front camera with 10 megapixel, aperture 2.2, 26 millimeter wide. One third, 24 inches, 1.22 micrometer dual pixel PDAF cam. Connectivity is possible with the um, with that device USB-C 3.2 and Wi-Fi 802.12 seven dual band at the S22. We have a tri band in the S22 Plus in Ultra. Then data inputs, S Pan only in the Ultra. Accelerometer, barometer, fingerprint scanner on the display ultrasonic, pressure sensor, magnetometer, gyroscope, hall sensor, proximity sensor, RGB light sensor, dual band, GNNS, that means GPS, GLONASS, BIM, DU and Galileo, single band on Axinus, 
and water resistant means IP68 waterproof. Dust resistance up to 1.5 meter for 30 minutes. So you can use it underwater, but only 1.5 meter and 30 minutes, not, not longer. The collectively third of the successor to the Samsung Galaxy S21 series. The first three smartphones were unveiled at the Samsung Galaxy Unpack event on 9 February 2022. The S22 series consists of the base Galaxy S22 model, the Plus uh, S22 model, and the camera note focused the Galaxy S22 Ultra model. The S22 Ultra serves as the official successor to the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 series and Note lineup. There are numerous critical upgrades to the phone processor over the previous models. In addition to the improved specifications, an enhanced camera system supported 8K video recording at 24 frames per second and a super resolution zoom for 30 up to 100 times for the Ultra model, of course. The three phones were released in the United States and Europe on 25th February 2022. And here it comes now. This is the Samsung Galaxy S22 and it looks really good. And in the box is not so much as you can see. In the box we have only the phone itself, of course. Um, then a smartphone, of course, a data cable and an ejection pin. It comes not including a travel adapter. It comes not including a power supply. So you have to buy this by yourself. Okay. The size is better with it. The colors are on the market are good because it comes in different colors. Um, we can not only use the standard colors, we can make Samsung.com exclusive colors too. We have 4,500 milliamp hour. While as power share is possible, uh, the storage option are as as as, you, uh, as I told you, and uh, we have 5G cellular and wireless option. We have good camera systems, raw detection, ultrasonic fingerprint scanner, and an infinite. OFHD plus dynamic AMOLED 2 times display with 6.6 inches. This is, hmm, okay, intelligently recognize scenes and optimize color for brand shoot. And then the only thing you have to do is make a clear and nice setup. Uh, you will need a Google account for Android and you will need a Samsung account for the Samsung store. And then you can have fun with your Samsung Galaxy S22. Oh, yeah. So here it is, the Samsung Galaxy S22. We're going to make a clear setup now. The Android version is still running and we have to make a setup first. So Dobro Lossi, in different languages, we will uh, get here a welcome to it. Of course, we can here make an emergency call on the left um, side if we have to do this. Um, or we can here um, make a little bit um, accessibilities, front size, screen zoom, high contrast keyboard, and, 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 okay. So here we go. Let's go to the next step. We can make here um, the language, choose now English, for example, Austria, New Zealand, Philippines, United States, what you like. Then go to next here. We are now looking for the privacy policy to see it. We can agree this all we have to read this all and we does not need to agree all this is an optional thing sending of diagnostic data um, as you like this the the upper side we have to agree because this is the main term of this contract between um, between the samsung um, or the android version and us here so let's go to the next step. Now we have to choose our Wi-Fi network because our phone needs to call home before we can use it uh, proper. So now we have to choose a Wi-Fi network which is near me. Now we have to enter the password. The password you can find at the administration guy um, in your household or you're looking under 
often you're looking under rear router there it is written often <laughs> then we have to enter this password to uh, connect to our wi-fi network connect now we are connecting to wi-fi and it is searching now for a sim the eSIM, which is not found here okay why it was searching for an eSIM? Because I does not install any NanoSIM into it. If you have a slot for the NanoSIM or you have NanoSIM, you install it and it will not look for an eSIM. So we can skip this or we can, um, we can add an eSIM, of course. If you have an eSIM, add it, of course. So we're now getting our phone ready. This may take a few minutes because now the phone is calling home the Samsung network and says, uh, say there, I am um, making a setup here. Is this okay? And Samsung says, okay, welcome to the, to the world. Now we can choose copy apps and data. We can choose to transfer our apps, photos, contacts, Google account and more. If we like that, if we have a backup, we can make this. For example, we go to the next, we use our old device. We, we used an Android or an iPhone or an iPad version. Here we can choose this and then we can um, transfer these data into this new device. But we do not do this, okay? So we go back a little bit because not everyone has another old uh, version or or you like to have this transfer because you, you, we are going to make a clear new uh, uh, um, a clear new setup with that device so the next step is we will need a google account a google account is um, is the main key to enter all the google family um, apps and um, adapters and of course everything on and android now yeah? android is um, it, it is running with the Google account, so we have to create a Google account. Create a Google account, then we will need an um, email account. You can make this by Google Mail, of course, or you use your own. And we will need a password. So this creation of this Google account is for free. That's, you do, does not have to pay for it. And then we enter it here. Otherwise, mm, we will not have the um, all features ready of the Android version. So we, we should make this. It's a, it better because it's an Android system. Enter your email or phone number of your Google account and then a password. So here we are. Now, the system ask us who will be using this device here we can use it by ourselves or we can use it by the child will we use this device in this case in the child device we can make a little bit of um, extra settings for use time and where forbidden areas and so on but we are not we, we of course we are uh, using this by ourselves so now here we are Google terms and conditions um, and services, we have to agree this. Um, otherwise, we can not um, add into our account. So we have to agree this Google terms of services. Now we're getting the account information and we can um, go on with it. If we have an, uh, uh, um, an Android version before, so here it is, the Galaxy S22 backup, it is um, possible to restore this device with that backup, of course. But we does not do that right now. And now we can choose the Google services which are pre-installed here on this. We can back up to Google Drive if we like. No, that's the same to make a backup system of your um, account. We lose use allocations. This is. This is a basic feature to, to use uh, maps, for example. Allow scanning, Wi-Fi networks, nearby devices. Send usage and diagnostic data. Install updates and apps. We can, if we can switch this on or the, um, activate this. If, we, or in, if you like, you can choose. We can um, now choose our search engine. Google, of course, but there are other on the market. Accusia, DuckDuckGo, Microsoft Bing, Yahoo, Quendum, and so many more. 
you can choose not only one, you can choose a lot of as you clean light. This is the standard way. And then we can go to the next app. Of course, you can download the apps later too. Protect our phone. Face recognition, fingerprints, pattern, pin or password. You can choose what um, what what you like to protect, what you're going to use to protect your phone. Mm, I think the face recognition is, I think it's not so good on these um, devices. The fingerprints is another good option. Pattern and pin, password is, is, is like the old school thing. Fingerprints or face recognition you can choose. So let's perform the face recognition because this is, um, I think this is the easiest way to unlock your phone. But it's, it's, it's not so good working. For the face recognition, you can see some information. So let's um, um, try this and we can make it after we now enter a pattern, a pin or a password. So we are going to make a pin. One, two, three, four, five, next, continue. One, two, three, four, five, next, continue. This is not good. This pass password, of course, you at home will make a bad one. So now our face has to be in this area. So make a line up here. Here we are. Hello. And you can see it uh, shows me that I wear glasses. That's good. Let's go continue without glasses. Now it's scanning my face. But um, it, it's like a photo. It's not... Um, Death scanning thing like uh, like another brand does this, but it's okay. It, it works. So we can now here choose stay on the lock screen until swipe, require open eyes, brighten screen, as we like. We can choose here. Everything has um, a good thing or not the good things or good thing for the battery, a good thing for the face recognition system. You can choose by yourself. So now let's go to the next step. Access our app system with Hey Google. If we like to use Hey Google, um, we can agree that or we can skip it. I think it's a good thing. We can access our system without unlocking your device. This means if you have a lock screen, you can use Hey Google. Uh, you can use your assistant. I agree. Now review additional apps. All these apps will be pre-installed if we go to the next. From Google itself, this comes um, on every Android device. But here you can choose. You can choose, you can choose, or you can this, like this, and uh, this, that, as this, as you like. You can choose what, what's going on with your uh, pre-installed app. If you make your decision, now we can get our phone ready in a minute but i think there comes another thing because we have here not that was the android part now it comes the samsung part <laughs> okay the samsung part is we, we have to create a samsung account we share files with friends family and even our other devices we find our lost phone even if it's in the offline we restore our settings and sync our apps if you like this you can make account you um does not need a Samsung account, of course, because in the Android version, nearly all things are included. But of course, here it is a Samsung device. So now we can make an, uh, make an account with it. And for this, of course, we have to enter our email address there and a password after this. And then we can enter into it. It's the same, the Samsung account is for free. You can uh, create an account easily and then you can fill up here. You enter here your email address. After this, you enter here your password and then you will go to the next step. So now we are um, making a little bit adjustment about our Samsung account. We use the car customization services. This is optional news. Um, we get news and special offers. This is an optional news. We turn on the offline finding optional as we light. This is a good thing, I think. So I agree that now, and now we can go to the next step. And of course, um, here, Samsung itself does have a backup system. 
You can make an auto um, backup of all data daily. You can make an um, apps synchronization by calendar contacts, notes, and more. You can choose this or you does not need it. Continuity services, customized services, nearby device scanning, smart suggestion. You can choose it, but you do not have to choose it. So we are all set up. So now we can go to finish or re-explore our galaxy. Now let's have a look what's exploring here. Wow, here we are, a little bit tutorial, as you can see. We, we, we get now starting by swiping a little bit here. This is swiping over your screen. And here are some information about your new device. Okay, that's cool. Now finish and we are in. This is the new area. Here we are. How we can use this? We go right and left. We can go swipe down a little bit. Then we can see it in notifications. This notifications we can clear. We can clear all them. We um, we can make it notification settings, for example. Then we can here look what an notification should be shown. Um, but there's more, of course. Here's Wi-Fi. There's um, sound, Bluetooth, rotation lock. Um, here are flight modes, flashlight, and so on. Device control is possible. Here in, on, on the bottom side, you can see one, two, three buttons. This means if we are in in, 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 in an app, for example, let's go to an app. Here is an app. And we go to that icon in the center. We go to the home screen. If we have still running apps in the back side, in the background, um, we can make this here. And then we see the um, running apps and we can make a hot uh, shift to it if you like or we can close it if we have a lot of uh, running apps we can close on then are all apps are closed but not um, not deleted of course and if we go back to the next menu we can use this here okay here we are if we're going to the left side you can see some google informations if we go from the bottom up we can see here the searching bar and of course, we can enter into all apps which are installed on this phone easily. Then, of course, we have one button here. This is the lock button and the power button. To unlock it again, we have to push on the button or we push and knock on the phone. Then we swipe up and we enter a pin or we use our um, face recognition. Here we are. Suck. You can see and here's volume down volume up here's more on the left on the right side you can see here is an um, notification center or a uh, fast access app uh, area and here you can make a telephone call here you can make um, messages here you can go to the internet by the samsung browser here is the camera system the camera you can see you can choose photo you can make videos you can make portraits you can make more with this all here and you can of course go to and use the um, different um, camera systems we have three of them then we can use your own uh, um, to choose the um, resolution fhd hd 30 frames full hd Ultra HD, for example, you can make the flash on and off. You can rotate to, to the other side. You now can see it's a face cam, it's possible. And to make a picture or to make a, a video, you can push here or you push there. Yeah, that means volume up, volume down you can use or you push on the center. To use this it is really easy of course in the play store you can find a lot of new awesome apps uh, often they are free to download and then you can gain up your experience with that android version here this is the you know, galaxy Sam, the samsung galaxy s22 thanks for watching please subscribe me and give a positive feedback and i hope to see you again on my channel soon soon